talking about how to load design files and machine files onto a control box. And to do that, we first have to understand what type of control box are we dealing with. There are two different models. You've got the older CB430, if it's a Trimble display, or if it's a CAT AccuGrade, it's a CD700 display. And they're both going to use the SD cards. And so you would load your files onto this SD card. And the way the folder structure works with these is you're going to have uh, your design files in a folder and you're going to place all three files in that folder. So you're going to have your SVL, which is your line work, your SVD, which is your surface file, and your .CFG, which is the calibration file for that site. So you're going to place all three of those files into the folder for that job site. So let's say our job site was called test. So you would load all three of those files into the job site folder called test. And then when you load that SD card up in the box and you go to select design, it's going to pull up and say test. And so that would be your job site. So you would click OK on that to select it. The other type of control box that we have is going to be the newer CB460 and the CB450. The CB460 is a little bit larger screen, but they both work exactly the same. So these are going to utilize the USB port right here on the CB460. And then on the CB450, you've got just a little rubber flap here that's going to flip down. And so on both of these, what you'll do is you'll insert your USB stick. And then on the USB stick, you're going to have a folder structure. So on the root directory of the USB stick, you're going to have a folder that's called Machine Control Data. And then inside of that, you're going to have a folder that's called All, A-L-L. -L. And then inside of the All folder is where you're going to place your design files or your machine files. And so, again, the same as the CB430 or CD700, you're going to have uh, your job site folder. And so you'll name that. And then inside of that job site folder, you're going to place your SVL, your SVD, and your CFG files. Now the reason we use the all folder to store our designs and to transfer is because it will transfer to any machine. So you'll notice on some machines uh, when you're looking at the USB stick you may have individual folders for a D6N or a, a D5K or specific machines and the reason we don't put the design files in those individual folders, Trimble created that uh, as a way to separate the data so if you only wanted certain designs on certain machines um, it was a way you could kind of separate out the files so the operators would only get the files that they needed. The problem with that is if you do not have the correct machine file selected on the control box, when you go to transfer the files, it will not transfer. So just as a rule of thumb, always place your design files in the all folder and then that way when you stick the USB stick in, it will transfer to any machine without any problems. So that's our recommendation. Okay, now that we've got the correct folder structure and the files loaded on the USB stick, what we can do is go to the control box in the dozer. And what we would do is insert the USB stick. And then what you'll want to do is click Add from USB. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the files that are on the USB stick and transfer them to the control box. So once you click this button here, then your files would start displaying across the top as the taskbar is moving across and then once it's complete it's going to say press OK to remove the USB stick so you say OK and then you just remove the USB stick and you're good to go now uh, just a quick tip if you have a brand new USB stick that doesn't have any files on it what you can do is insert it and you see this two USB that will transfer any files that are existing on the control box to the USB stick but it will also create the folder structure for you. So if you don't have any files on the control box yet, uh, you click to USB and it'll create the machine control data and all folders for you. And then you can just drag your design files uh, into the all folder there. So that's kind of a, a quick, easy way to do it. Um, of course, you can always use File Explorer and just manually create the folders. Um, but this is just a little bit simpler way to do it. Um, so this, uh, concludes our lesson on how to load files on the control box. 
and uh, thanks for watching.